What is going on guys? Marcus here, back with another video. So today, we're sitting at Lake Eugenia. Today we're gonna be talking about my three favorite lures to use at this lake. So if you're trying to visit this lake and catch some fish, got three lures, three tips to give you to see if you can catch the most fish at this lake. Let's start off with number one. So my all time favorite bait right here is gonna be the Senko. Any of these, any of these fake plastic worms. Uh, I'll show you how to hook them on and how to fish it in a second. But any of these, any style of worm that you can use, that has been my all time favorite catching fish here. You know, largemouth bass, just devour this at pretty much any time of the day. So we can either use them, we can easy, either use these on a Texas rig just like this, uh, with a little weight on the front and a weedless presentation, that way it's not getting snagged in all the weeds. It will still get snagged in uh, the stumps which are everywhere because that weight gets shimmied in between some places. So you gotta watch out for that. But if you're using this, you know, you, you can't go wrong. So the two presentations that you can use are either gonna be the text rig with a weight or the wacky rig with no weight. I've had more success with the wacky rig weightless, but you're also more likely to hook into a stump and then lose your hook. If that's something you don't want to do. You can go with the weightless Texas rig, which is just a little bit, I don't know, I don't like it as much, but it's a bit of a safer bet. Weightless is definitely the way to go when you're using a Senko. I just like to use a weight because it allows me to cast farther and my bait caster rod and reel setup likes it better. So that's the first one. I'm going to take a couple casts, see if I can pull anything out and let's get on to the next one. So to fish this type of bait, we're gonna be letting it sink to the bottom and bouncing it off the bottom. If you're using the weightless one, you're just gonna let it sink and you're gonna bounce it up to the top, let it sink and then bounce it back up to the top. Right now I'm using a weighted one, so I'm gonna hit the bottom and just walk it. So honestly, as I'm thinking about this, it feels like the largemouth bass population in Lake Eugene has kind of massively declined. I'm only really pulling out smallmouth bass now. If you're a normal fisherman at Lake Eugenia, put in the comments see if you feel the same thing, but I haven't caught a largemouth bass here in so long. So the next bait we're going to be talking about here, it's going to catch you a bit more smallmouth bass, and my experience has been catching a lot more smallmouth bass lately. I don't know what's going on. Largemouth bass are kind of disappearing, but it's going to be a topwater frog or a topwater popper. I cast this off my dock, and sometimes any time of the day I'll do it, and I'll still catch fish because smallmouth here, are just they're so aggressive. You know, They go for all my aggressive type baits. So we're going to do a topwater popper. I'm not going to fish it right now because there's better things to use right now at dawn when the sun is just going down the water will calm down and the bugs will come out that's exactly when you should be using a top water lure to catch smallmouth bass and hopefully largemouth bass so these are the next baits we're going to be talking about here it's going to be a weedless frog if there's weeds where you're fishing or if there's no weeds one of these because one of the reasons that these two are my favorite and i use them so often is because of all the stumps that are found in lake eugenia and you're getting snagged all the time and you're losing so many baits i can't tell you how many baits i've lost in this lake my solution is just to go on top of the water and get those aggressive bass and the, the ones that are hungry or any of them at that time i told you right when the sun is going down if you're using either of these baits you're guaranteed to have a fun time and see some explosions on the water so before I give you the third tip if you're used to my other channel where I talk about workout stuff this is usually where I'd pop a bunch of pre-workout and go and have a workout and do a little workout montage but this is a fishing video so I can't really do that so I'm, I'm gonna try a fishing montage but it's probably gonna suck but after that we're gonna get to the third and final favorite bait that I like to use on Lake Eugenia <laughs> And here we are, my third and final favorite bait is going to be some sort of high action swim bait. This right here is called a chatter bait and this right here is called a jerk bait. This one is actually exactly called the Rapala Rip Stop. I use this one all the time. I've actually caught multiple fish on it today. And this right here is just a chatter bait. Just look up chatter bait, it's easier to see it. So on really hot days when the fish are all hiding, this is my favorite bait to use. I go to find deep areas where there's lots of weeds, you know, more oxygen in the water. That's where the largemouth bass are gonna be hiding. This bait is just gonna swivel around, move the weeds out of the way and catch some big monsters. And this one right here is a very high action and it stays above the water. So if you're fishing in the middle of the day and there's, you know, there's a lot of stumps that are too deep, you don't want to get snagged on, use this one because it stays above the water pretty well, not on top of the water, but decently shallow. 
and the smallmouth bass are not gonna be able to resist. That's gonna wrap up this video for today. Pretty quick one, but also a pretty good one because I've been fishing on this lake for 10 years now and those are my top three favorite baits that I like to use to catch fish. Number one, the Senko, unbeatable. Number two, a topwater bait, most likely gonna catch fish at night or in the morning, right at dawn when the bugs are out. And finally, some sort of swimming bait, either the jerk bait when there's a lot of stumps or chatter bait when there's deep water and lots of weeds. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment. Um, don't have an outro yet, so we're just gonna end it right here.